ladies and gentlemen, besides the new Fall 2024 campaign, which I already discovered, you can also find a YouTube video already on this channel, um, the Fall 2024 season brought something new to the table as well, which is the platform game mode. So the second new game mode that they introduced after the stunt mode, um, a game mode that has been a thing in Trackmania since 2005. And they, yeah, you know, Nadeo is a very green company. They care about... Um, yeah, about the environment, so they are very good at recycling old things, and uh, this time they recycled the platform game mode. And um, the game mode itself is not very complicated to explain. Basically, the idea is that the maps are challenging, and um, your goal is to not drive the map fast, not necessarily. The main goal is to finish the map without any respawns. So you just want to make sure that you do not have to respawn. The less respawns you need, the better it is. And uh, overall there is going to be a 25 map campaign for the new game mode. Um, today is the day where the game mode came out and we only have the first five maps. And the way it's basically going to work is that uh, on every Monday now, or every Tuesday, I'm not sure, uh, we get five more maps. So for the next four Mondays or Tuesdays, always five maps are added. So we're going to check out the very first five maps. They are probably going to be very simple. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we one-shot all of them. And uh, yeah, let's see what Nadeo has cooked. Let's see if the mode is fun. And we're gonna hop straight into map one, I would say. We can also have a timer running, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much, I guess, but whatever. I'm gonna start on map one, and first of all, you already see, uh, it's looking different. We don't have times, we have um, respawns. So offer time, or offer respawns is zero. So if you wanna get the offer medal, uh, we need to beat the map with zero respawns. Then gold is three, silver is 10, and bronze is 30. And uh, yeah, no, I would say map one. We're gonna hop straight in. Let's see how quickly we can beat it. It looks like a cute map, that's true. So we have jumps, we have like traps on the maps, like this hole here, which I already saw earlier. And yeah, your goal is just to not respawn. So it doesn't even matter. Like technically, we can take as much time as possible. And uh, yeah, just cruise slowly through the map. I mean, of course, the early maps are gonna be super easy, I'm pretty sure. There's not even a speed check. Where, where do we have to go? I look like technically if I just want to beat it with zero respawns, it's also like fine to back up and take speed, all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, map one, very, very easy. And you see, time was bad, but we got, um, yeah, we got all of the, and wait, why is the timer not working? I think the timer is broken in, uh... I think the timer is broken. <laughs> I think we can ignore the timer. And now we already come to one of the biggest uh, critique points um, about platform mode, which is that, um, as you can see, it is literally only counting the respawns. Like, I got the perfect run now on the map, basically, because in the platform game mode, your time is not being counted at all. Like, if you if you use your brain, you would think, um, ah, yeah, the idea is that you have as few respawns as possible, and once you have zero respawns, it's still the time that counts. So you have then zero respawns and a 30 second time is better than zero respawns and the 35 second time. That's what you would think. But that's apparently not the case. Uh, like, this was basically um, mentioned as a critique in the very beginning already, once the mode was announced. Nadeo, I don't know how Nadeo didn't think about that, but basically there is no reason for me now to ever touch the map again. Because I got the perfect result. I cannot improve anymore. Even though I could get a faster run, it doesn't matter. The leaderboard is only about the respawns. And we also don't have leaderboards for... Yeah, look, we only have the leaderboard against the medal. So it's like a strict... Like, I guess you can still play this online. But... Yeah, like, the times are just not being counted. So, yeah, that's just super, super stupid. Like, why would I ever visit this game mode again after beating it once? Or, like, after beating the maps once, you know? You see what I mean? So yeah, map 2. Let's see if we can also one-shot this. Looks like symmetrical maps, like with jumps and shit. Have to release here, yeah. Okay, didn't even have to, maybe. Then a jump, bang. Yeah. And then some freewheel uphill with some obstacles. Can even, like, slow down here. But yeah, very simple, of course. Very, very basic. The good thing is, though, um, since Nadeo does not have... Uh, didn't think about it, um, Trackmania Exchange is actually um, gonna still have leaderboards where the time is being counted. So also on that official YouTube channel, which is uploading the world records, um, we will still have time attack runs, but you will not see them in the leaderboard in-game because Nadeo fucked it up. You can only see it on Trackmania Exchange, basically, when you visit that website and when you, um, yeah, when you 
watch the YouTube videos. But other than that, in game, when you're not clueless about when you're clueless about everything, you don't know what the fastest time on the map is. Like, I can just hope that Nadeo is fixing it because it's just very, very not so good. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the same issue in Trackmania United Forever and also in Trackmania 2 Canyon platform. Uh, it always has been like this in Trackmania, but that's no argument. Yeah, it, it, like it always has been shit basically. Why don't they improve it? Like it's not that hard to make the respawns count and then as a tiebreaker for the respawns, you have the times basically. Nadeo, this is like everybody knows this. this is, you don't you need like 5 IQ to think about that. Like I really hope they update that because uh, yeah, like this, you know, I played the map again. First try, I got the perfect result. I cannot improve anymore. So yeah, very weird. Map so far, very easy, like super, super easy, but kind of cool. Cool thing is we also have new colors, as you can see. Okay, a bit of a speed check here. Then we have, yeah, okay, quarter pipe. Like, I can literally do shenanigans like this, and I still get like the perfect result for the map, you know? Yeah, now I see that I would overjump, can release, ping, almost died, <laughs> Monka. Another quarter pipe, I can jump as high as possible, I just need to not respawn. The maps are cool though, I guess, like especially if they get more difficult later on. Okay, even more jumps where I have to release, but that's very easy to see. The thing is what I'm gonna do, what I can already announce uh, for the people also interested on YouTube, I will try to play the platform maps with other cars as well. So I'm gonna try to beat the maps which are made for uh, this car. For stadium car, I will try to beat them with snow, desert, and rally car as well. That could be challenging then. We will see about that. But yeah, like it's just like it's basically the white maps. They are really, really easy, guys. They are really, really easy. <laughs> next up, orange hills. So orange, the next color. Oh, fuck, messed it up. Okay, let's just go again. <laughs> I thought about turning around, but <laughs> you wanna have no airtime here because then you, only then you can make the jump. Then hop, hop, hop. Oh, small speed check with a hole. Then we go down. Okay. Where do I go? Turn around or what? Ah. Okay. Slightly tricky. But you know, these maps are like super special. Like, it's like not maps that you see in the normal campaign. Like, it's like obstacle. It's like mini mini RPG maps, kind of. And it would be so cool to hunt them. It would be something completely different. So why don't give players the opportunity to do that? And we have one of these dirt war rides. And yeah, once again, easy zero respawn run. Ah. Yeah, I really hope Nadeo will add this. But the maps are kind of cute and nicely built. I hope they will get more difficult. I hope it's only the first five maps which are that easy. But yeah. Oh god. Okay, wet plastic. This could uh, this could be different. This could be hard. Wet plastic can be a bit uh, weird. Okay, we already dry our tires here. Then with pipe. Nice. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's cute. You cannot deny that. It's kind of a nice game mode. I think for beginners, like, it's really cool. Like, for beginners trying to get zero respawns here, it's like mini deep dip, sort of. It's like mini deep dip practice for beginners. I think for... This 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 is definitely already in the... In, like... Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I miss... I mess up. Uh, no, but <laughs> what I wanted to say... Uh, uh, this is, like, really good for beginners. I think beginners really, really like this. And this is much better than uh, stunt mode. Because the mode makes sense like this. It only misses this one thing with the times. But the mode itself made sense. Because this time they didn't try to like weirdly change the game mode. They just kept it the way it was back in the days. And that's good focus by Nadeo. But this would be so cool to hunt Nadeo. Give us a fucking leaderboard, man. I'm also gonna write a tweet later again. So yeah, this time I made it. Climbing up the hill. I think beginners will enjoy this. I'm pretty sure. And then we have pipe, and with that, we have finished the first five maps with the absolute perfect run. All offer times, zero respawns is the fewest we can get. So yeah, we will see. Like, the first five maps, um, they are cute. I like them. Bit too easy, but I guess they will get more and more difficult from week to week. Otherwise, like, if all maps are like this, that would be very stupid. Um, but yeah, like, good campaign, good idea. But please, Nadeo, please listen to me. And listen to everybody else at a timer. Like, make the respawns count. The respawns are the thing what counts. And then as a tiebreaker, sort of, for the respawns, 
you also have the time. That's all we want. It, it cannot be that hard to program that. Nadeo, please add that. It wouldn't ruin the idea of the platform mode. It would just make it make more sense. So yeah, that was the first five maps. A very short video now because yeah, I one shot every one of them except for map five. And uh, yeah, next week, next Monday, next Tuesday, whenever the maps are going to come out, I will upload um, the next video, even though I'm not sure if I can immediately play them because uh, there's also the XP uh, tournament taking place. So I'm not sure, but I will do uh, one video for each uh, new set of five maps. And uh, yeah, for the YouTube people, let me know what you think about this game mode, about the maps. Let me know if you agree with me and that Nadeo has to add a timer to this. And I hope you enjoyed and uh, tschüssi!